Hey everyone, Karen here with day five of my Attitude of Gratitude Countdown to Thanksgiving, 28 Days of Thankfulness. So today I would just like to share how thankful I am for my oldest son, Christoph. He will actually be 26 in about three weeks, December 1st. He was born in 1987. December 1st, I just said, whoops. Anyway, um, wow. First of all, just for having been able to experience the miracle of creating life with him in my belly and growing and flopping. I love being pregnant with him. I took him around all over Paris in my stomach and I just cherished that entire time. Um, and then when he was born, how beautiful he was. I remember looking at him for the first time and he had long fingers. I remember that's what stood out to me first. His, his hand was like right in front of his face. He didn't know what music he saw. So he was a wonderful baby, um, very sweet, uh, not a lot of trouble. I remember uh, we were living in France and they would describe him as gracieux. Um, Anyway, and then um, just the um, joy of motherhood that I experienced first with him, um, it just gave everything in life a new perspective. I loved sharing uh, new experiences with him, tactile, all the senses, really exploring the world around us, getting outside, stomping through leaves, smelling flowers, taking walks climbing trees, um, having to slow down because when you have kids, you know, you get out, you, you, you can't rush, you can't be in a hurry, and actually for the sorts of things that you're doing, you don't want to be, so I liked that I had to slow down and stop and appreciate things, I wanted to share that with my kids, and, and I did first with Christoph, um, what else as an adult, um, he has an amazing mind. It's just incredible. He'll take in information from here and there and everywhere and make these connections that are just out of this world. Um, I just can't imagine having a brain that, that's able to do that. It's actually, in fact, um, pretty incredible. And um, he's incredibly artistic. He, in fact, way back, he always has been. In second grade, he um, entered a contest. Um, I think it was called Come See St. Louis or Visit St. Louis, something like that. And um, and he won second place, got an award from the mayor. Um, I hope we still have that somewhere. We have pictures of it anyway. And then more recently, he... Um, Shoot, now I wish I could remember the name of this magazine. It's a it's a health kind of alternative uh, health magazine here in Austin, and he won a contest to get um, a drawing he did on the cover of that magazine. So um, all this to say, needless to say, he's incredibly artistically talented. Um, and he has such um, a kind heart. <coughs> um, oh, I kind of don't want to share this, but I will. My ex-husband was, in fact, um, not the nicest person to him, I'm ashamed to say. Um, anyway, even though that was true, if at times uh, Christoph perceived that uh, I was being unkind to my ex-husband, he would... Um, nonetheless kind of um, take, I don't want to say take his side, but take the time to share with me kind of how that might be feeling from my ex-husband's point of view. So he's just very sensitive, um, which is a beautiful human quality. I love that about him. So I love, love, love my son Christoph, and I am thankful to have him in my life. So that is day five of my attitude of gratitude, uh, November 5th, 2013. Peace out.